In this episode we will show you how to run a SQL script against your APS DSQL database. From time to time the APS support team will be sending you SQL scripts to run against your database. Basically the best practice before running any scripts is that you go to your database and you perform a task called a backup and you ensure that you're, you back up to a, an appropriate location on your network drive, choose a file naming convention that's appropriate and perform your backup before you attempt to run any scripts. Of course it's ideal when you're performing any backups is to ensure that your users are out of your PM database. Once you've successfully backed up your system, all you basically need to do inside your SQL Server Manager is say you want to run a new query you ensure that the available databases that you're going to run the query against is selected. In this case, it's the APS DSQL database. You can paste your code into the SQL query window and then all you need to do is click the execute button and you'll see that by default it shows you some outputs and hopefully you should see no errors and it'll tell you what rows the update takes effect on. And that basically concludes. You can now close off, don't need to save any changes, and close off your SQL Studio Manager.